In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom states in a WeWeb project. What we have here is a list of cards uh, for uh, different three different prices. So we have three flex boxes. And what we want to do is add a custom state for when a user clicks on a card that it selects this price plan and changes the style of the card. So the first thing we did is um, add a workflow on each flexbox to update a variable that we created. Uh, so we called it selected plan. And here, when they click here on this card, it will change the text to basic. If they click here, it will change to business. And when we click here, it will change the variable to enterprise. So if I go to preview mode, I scroll down to my variables, I click here, business, I click here, enterprise, I click here, basic. All right, cool. Now, on my flex box, I can go to the style tab and create a custom state, add a state. I will call it selected. And for the condition, I will say that this state applies when my select and plan variable equals basic. This is, and it's currently true, it's basic. And I will want to apply it to the, select, the state to its children. So the state is on the flex box, but I will want to style the button differently as well. So I'm clicking apply to children so that I have the option to style the button um, when this condition is true. Okay, so let's just, for example, change the background color. And let's have it gray like this. It's not very pretty, but it's not a design context. Um, now let's go to the button and say that we change the um, child state, select that. And when the card is selected, we will also change the color of the button. So have it as light blue. And now let's see what happens if I click on another card. Boom, it goes back to the standard style. And if I click again, it's selected, it changes the style. So let me show you with the variable. Variable changes to business. So the style goes back because the condition is no longer true. It's not false because the select and plan is not basic, it's business. And if we click, select the plan is basic again. So the condition is made met and the style changes. And what we could do as well is on the button text, we could say if select the plan equals basic, we would say proceed. Otherwise, we'll say select plan. So that looks like so preview mode, select plan, there you go. And then we would do the same thing on other, on the other flex boxes. So add a state, name it, define a condition, decide if you want to apply to children. In this case, yes, because you also want to change uh, the, des the design of the button and Again, we would do it on the enterprise plan. That's it. That's how you add a custom state to WeWeb element and potentially its children.